guys welcome back to creative cuddle in today's video i will show you guys how to create an abandoned card email using mailchimp all right so this is what your mailchimp account would look like so first thing you would do is go to the tab that says automations over here we have two options either we can stick to their new customer journey builder that they have created or you can check out their classic automations if you go for a classic automation you're gonna click turn on abandoned card email over here and then you will give a name to your campaign so i'll put that as abandon card test one and then you have to select a store that's good and i will click begin and over here we will click edit recipients and it says that this email sends to xyz's customers six hours after they abandon their card I am going to click over here and I want this uh, email to be sent out within one hour. If you want it to be sent in 24 hours, six hours, you can select that as well. I'll stick to one hour for this example and we will click save. So next you can click. So next, if you want, you can edit from and over here you can edit the name and the email address from which these emails will be sent to. Then you can click edit subject line. So you can add a really nice catchy uh, subject line to grab the attention of your audience. So I'm going to put something like you missed something and then if you want to get more creative, you can add an emoji as well. So let's put like a sad emoji like, hey, you missed something in your cart. OK, that looks good. And I will hit save. So next, what we are going to do is design our content, our actual emails that will be sent to the customers. So I will click resolve. And over here, we do have some templates that are provided by MailChimp. So we can use any one of them and edit it. So let's take a look at this one, for example, and we will click next. All right. So then you will come to this page where we will design this email. So over here, I have my logo, which looks good to me. But if I want to edit it, I'm just going to decrease the size a little bit. And I'm also going to link it to a certain website. So if you, if you want, you can link it to your actual website. Um, so let's link that to www.wix.com for example and I will click insert and the next thing that you have to do is edit the copy so you don't really have to follow the same format I'm doing you can actually get as creative as you want the idea is to ensure that it conveys the message right all right so I changed the text over here and I did a really nice copy that says you forgot to check out hey you forgot something in your card we saved it for you and yeah that's basically it if you want you can add more stuff and kind of get creative with it so I'm gonna save that so then we will click over here and will click this icon and we will select the number of products we want to show on this email address so these are the products that the customer has abandoned or left in their cart when they were browsing through your website so i'm gonna put that as one product and if you want to um display the price as well you can select this box over here or remove it whatever you want uh, and we will save it and then we have the button over here that says return to checkout so that looks good um I will keep it that way and then you can select where you want it to be linked to so right now it is linked to the abandoned cart page which looks fine to me if you want to link it somewhere else you can do that as well and the next thing we'll do is we'll edit the block we'll make sure all the information over here looks good i'm actually gonna get rid of this tag because i don't want the mailchimp bar to be visible at the bottom corner and we will save it all right so our content looks good the next thing i like to do is work on the style um so if i want i can click over here select this style icon and select the font so we'll make that as lateral and we'll make the size as 14 and we'll put that in the center over here as well i'm gonna click edit i'm gonna work on the style i'll make sure i select open sans this time and we'll make the text more like 24 just a little bit big no that's too big let's stick to 18 and the color is okay with me so i'll keep it that way i'll make it double space and the text for the price will change that as well to open sans 16 is okay i'll make it double space and i'll save it and i'll close that and over here we have return to checkout section i'll change the style and i will make my corners a bit rounded as you can see over here and we can change the color as well so i'm gonna choose a really nice orange color 
and I'm gonna make it zero pixels I'm gonna change the font I will make it lato okay so that looks good now if you want to get more creative with this if you want to add um, a certain social icon you can do that as well you just have to like drop the boxes over here set your social links and that should be it and next if you want you can go to the settings tab and you can play around with different uh, design elements so whether you want it to have text display or icon display or icon and text you can do that as well i think icons should be fine you can change the alignment whether you want it to be on left corner on the right or on the center like that for the width you can fit to size or you can do like full width you can also change the layout if you want them to be displayed in a certain way so everything looks good the next thing we will do is send a test email which is very important thing that you should do just to make sure it looks perfect um, on your screen so if you want to send a test email just enter your email address over here and click send test Alright, so I received my test email and as you can see, this is what our email campaign looks like. So it looks really nice, looks good, I'm happy with it, so I'll stick to this. And if everything looks good at this point, you can click start sending and that's it. So your, your abandoned card email is ready to go. Alright, so now I am going to show you how to send an abandoned card email using their new customer journey builder. So you have to go under the automations, go to customer journey and then scroll through the bottom and click browse all and over here they already have like this pre-built map that you can customize it and make it uh, for your own business so we have recover abandoned cards over here so i will click that so then you'll come to this page and you'll get a preview of the customer journey we'll click build a journey and then you will select your audience and click continue then select the store name click create journey all right so we are in our customer journey builder so let's take it step by step the first thing i see is that the contact abandons the card in kbd health so i will click over here and then you have to select your abandoned card wait time so right now it's one hour so that looks good to me if you want to select one day one week you can do that as well but we'll stick to one hour and we'll click save starting point if you want to add another starting point you can do that as well so next we have a plus icon over here where you can add a journey point based on your requirements and your uh, marketing objective so we do have some options over here you can click any one of them add it over here and then uh, what happens is that we wait for one hour and an abandoned card reminder email is sent out so when i click this over here we will edit that email and over here the subject says that you left something in your card and preview text is ready to order head back to your card to complete the order if you want you can edit it you can add any text you want you can get really creative with that i'll save that for now then you can select your schedule so which days should your email be sent so i'll put that as every day and the question is what time of the day should your email be sent so i'll put that as as soon as possible so that's okay so i'll click save and then we have to design this email reminder so you can click select a template or you can use a previous campaign as a template so i'll click select a template so i'll select this guy over here all right so we are gonna design the email similarly the way we designed when we were using the classic automation so just design it add your products add all the links um, if you want to add a certain element just pick that element drop it over here create a really nice email reminder and once that is done you're gonna click save and return to journey so after that here it says there's going to be a three day delay if i want i can edit it so i'll put that as one day of delay if you want one hour of delay one week of delay you can select that as well and i'll hit save all right the next step would be to select the contact meet if and else condition um so we will click over here and right now it says that your contact will join the yes path if they meet your conditions so the condition is that the purchase date should be within the last one day so we sent out the abandoned card email um, and then we waited for one day and if within those time period if the contact does make a purchase 
then he will follow the yes path which is this journey and this is just a template i just want to give you guys an overview of like how it works but you can always play around with different journey points and make it more custom for your requirements so the yes path says that there will be a tag that will be added that says recovered abandoned card and then the contact exists and that's how one journey ends but let's say we send the email out we waited for one day and the contact still did not make a purchase so that's a no part so we are going to send another email to remind him to make a purchase so similarly you can select a template or you can design a different email and this time if you want you can also offer him like a coupon code or a discount all right so i created like a rough draft just to give you an idea of the second email i would send out so in this email i'll be like still confused about purchasing that t-shirt if yes then here's a 25 percent off coupon code for you and over here you can put in a promo code from your store and also link it to the product card so eventually if the customer is still uh you know thinking if they should actually go ahead and purchase the t-shirt if they see that there's an offer they will be more enticed to make that purchase so then we'll click save and return to journey so we are offering the coupon code at this point and we're going to wait for three days and then if you want you can add another if and else condition so the first one is that yes meaning if he does make a purchase after that so we'll follow the yes path where we will just add a tag that it's a recovered abandoned card and the contact would exit but even after providing the coupon code if he does not make a purchase you can send another email reminder if you want and then wait for one week to see what happens and if after one week he does make a purchase um, you can also exit the journey simply by adding the recovered abandoned card or if he still does not uh, make a purchase you can add a tag that says lost abandoned card and then the contact exits and yeah that's a bit about the customer journey how you can go about creating a really nice journey to recover your abandoned card to get more sales i hope uh, you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful i tried to simplify it as much as i could um, let me know if you have used mailchimp before and what is your favorite um, abandoned card strategy that you use and uh, something that always works for you uh, feel free to share it in the comment section below thank you so much for watching i hope you guys have a lovely day ahead and i shall see you guys in my next one till then take care bye